Hello, hello, thank you, thank you. I'm a bag of nerves, I'm sorry, I don't give out speeches. Um, someone said earlier, sorry, just a quick point, that this is pointless. This is exactly how I feel, naked and my head is everywhere. So please persevere with me. So whoever did that, thumbs up. I'm Shizio and I am a rapper. Now, I found out about Ted on Tuesday, just a few days ago, I was in hospital, poor me, and I came home and I was sick and the doctor said to me, Shiz, Rest, no stress. Even the doctor was rapping. He said, rest, no stress. So I got home and there were seven missed calls on my phone and in my drugged up voice, I called the guy back. It was Raj, one of my friends. I was like, yes. And he says to me in a, about a hundred mile an hour voice, it's unbelievable. You're going to be a Ted talking on Ted and it's a committee and it can change your life and it, whatever, whatever. Now, I heard exactly what he said after I slowed him down and I'm from the streets of East London so I pretty much said, what any street kid, I think, would say. I said, that's fantastic. Who the hell is Ted and what does he want from me? <laughs> it's absolutely true. It's absolutely true. I'm not lying. I have no perception of Ted. I don't know who Ted is, so Ted, thank you. I then, I then Googled it and found out it is this fine thing that it is, so I really appreciate you giving me this space. Now, <laughs> you like that? You like that? I might get that standing ovation later. Who knows? Hint, hint. Now, I'm born and raised in East London, the borders of East London and Essex. Now, I am a first generation born and bred UK British Muslim. My parents came from Pakistan many years ago for the hope of catering for the family a better life, a search for a better life. Now, my father's a very pious man, very strict man. In my house, if you was out of line, sorry to be rude, he would kick your ass. He would do it, he would do it. That's just the way he was brought up. That's how it was. He had that magical shoe that could go around corners and hit you in your head. He had that shoe. He, uh, he, he had it, he had it. He still, got, he still got it somewhere. So in my house, you couldn't do anything wrong. His thesis was this. You're going to school. You're going to get a degree. If you don't get one, you are a failure. It doesn't matter what you do. You, son, are a failure. So that's what I had to do. Now, around 10 years old, my brother comes home with a cassette tape. A cassette tape. It's this audio thing. Google it. He comes home with a cassette tape. And I take the tape. I don't steal it because I'm a good kid. I, I look at the tape and it says NWA on it. And I'm thinking, what's that? And I'm reading the track listing and I see on one track, there's a track called F asterisk, asterisk, sorry, F asterisk, asterisk K, the police. I'm thinking, what is this word, F asterisk asterisk K? I have no idea what this word is. So I put in the tape, and I fast forward, and I get to it, and my jaw just hit the floor. I could not believe for the life of me, I could not fathom, I could not comprehend how someone could say on a tape, F the police. They were shouting, F the police. Now this is my house. It's borderline prison in my house, <laughs> right? If I'm caught with this tape, I'm a dead man. One way ticket to the morgue. I promise you I'm not lying. So I take this tape. In, in my house, if you got caught with that, it was the same as getting caught with porn under your mattress. It was the same equivalent, the same brand of crime. I would be dead. So I get this tape and the rebel in me just wants to hear it. So I'm just listening to it, listening to it, listening to it. And I'm just hearing swearing, swearing, swearing. So first I'm, I'm naughty. I'm thinking, oh, this is fantastic. Swearing, swearing. So after a while, the swearing got boring. So what I then did was started to actually listen to what these people were saying. And after a while, it began to dawn on me that these people are not just swearing randomly. They're actually representing a minority of people that feel underrepresented. They're actually talking about an issue that affects their community. And that to me was fascinating. I was like, that, that, that's actually amazing. So I started to follow this rap group and whatever they did and whatever they were about. And then a few years later, I was following rap, rap, rap. And then one day, an even bigger penny dropped on me. I knew everything about these rap group, this rap group and these rap people. I knew everything about their life, but they knew nothing about me. They, do, they probably didn't even know that I exist. And that to me was absolutely fascinating, that they could be a checkpoint in my life and not even know about it. 
I could probably play a song for all you people, an individual song, and it will probably take you back for, to an era, a moment, even remind you of a loved one. That is what music does. So that, to me, is absolutely fascinating. I'm just in awe of that notion. So I start rapping. I start rapping every day. I'm a bit rubbish. I get better, I get better, and I'm still trying to get better. So I rap, I rap, and I talk about my life as I know it. A UK, born and bred, British, South Asian. So I'm rapping, and I begin to start resonating with other UK, born and bred, South Asians. And it's not my plan. It's just what happened. So I, they, they then begin to realize, and I begin to realize, that I'm actually doing what the rap group was doing. I'm becoming a voice for all these people. And th there is no South Asian rapper worldwide that has made it into the mainstream stage. Now, I, I personally think that the industry can't handle that structure right now. I'm a brown kid doing predominantly black music in a predominantly white country, right? It's true. Now, I'm not, I'm not here to argue about that. That is a different speech. I'm not here to cry and sob and say the world doesn't love me, I need a hug. That, that I think, will deal with itself. But what fascinates me is I started to build bridges. I started to build bridges amongst the South Asian community. The, the UK born and bred British Pakistani Muslim now listens and has the same voice as the born and bred UK Hindu Indian. And that is amazing to me because there's so much conflict that's happened. People that don't know, a lot of people will just assume that it's one country. It used to be one country, but it's not. There's been so much that's happened. So people just say, oh, yeah, you're Asian. Don't worry, you're Asian. It's not. So for me to build that bridge is fascinating. That, to me, is success. Now, it's not all peaches and cream. I'm my own guy. Um, I'm my own artist. I'm my own manager. I'm unsigned. Every day I work hard. I'm independent. Uh, I'm my own stylist, sorry, um, I'm, I'm my own person, so it's very difficult, but again, that's a different story. To me, it was just that embodies success. Now, that might not be success in anyone else's eyes, but that's what I perceive success to be as. What you perceive your success to be as is what you perceive it to be as. What I perceive my success to be as is what my success is. Now, my two older brothers, I'm running out of time, I do apologize, my two older brothers are investment bankers, pride of the family, make a hell of a lot of money. In my father's eyes, yes, son. You are the one, son. Now, here's the thing. One of my brothers has got so many white hairs at the age of 33, I don't even recognize him anymore. He works long hours, don't, I don't even recognize him. My other brother sits on that London underground every day, comes home, and for an hour, you can't talk to him. Why? Because he'll punch you in your face. He's so angry. He's always angry. I hate my job. I hate my job. I hate my job. He hates it. Can't tolerate it. So that, to me, does not personify success. To me, success is when I get a tweet from someone, a, uh, a teenager that says, because of something that you've said, I'm now going to pass my law exam. Success for me, and this has all happened to me, is when a child at Great Ormond Street that has no kidneys and is on a dialysis machine asks his loved one, his family, if they can contact me and if I could maybe visit them and make their day. Let me tell you something. He said that I inspired him. I promise you that was a one-way inspiration and it was the other way. So that to me is success and I'm running out of time. I just wanted to, wanted to say that your own success is your success. Don't look at what his success is. Be your own person, embody it, nurture it and cherish it. Well, I'm now going to do a live performance with Skyline. I really hope you enjoy it. We don't know. I don't... Oh, I did get the standing ovation. <laughs> you're very kind. You're very kind. Uh, we have not had a sound check or anything. We're just going to do this. Uh, fingers crossed. And we'll see what happens. It's an acapella with a tablet session. It's not been done before, apart from in the practice room once. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Right. Friends when the night's out. Me? Well, I stayed in. Trapped in, caved in, this maze I was raised in. Lyric after lyric in the same room I prayed in. Dreaming of a better life. Well, when will it phase in? Pops beat me up, said my life I was wasting. Better study hard, get a job and start saving. I don't blame him. Looking back, I rate him. His firm hand helped turn this boy into amazing.
Nurtured my craving, buy myself a no reward. My friends were serving time for robbery and different kinds of fraud. 99% of cats doing music can go bored. Life really is a double edged Tory hands on sword. Tries to get us all, but no one can escape it. Lucky for me, I saw my destiny and faced it. Show after show, they said I'd never ever make it. Think that's why I do what I do? You mistake it. Live for the moment, make sense, don't it? Don't let it pass you by. Be happy that you chose it. Most people never get the chance. Be happy that you own it. Taking part matters, regardless if you've blown it. Live for the moment, make sense, don't it. Don't let it slip away. Be happy that you chose it. Most people never get the chance. Be happy that you own it. Taking part matters, regardless if you've blown it. If your true calling called you, would you really come alive or pretend it never happened? Get submerged in nine to five. Would you hang up gloves? Would you really fight to strive? Live your life in darkness, searching for the brighter light. You've got the right to hide. I understand people do, but I'm not that guy. I'm the guy that sees it through. It don't matter if I foul and never make the news. All that matters is I work hard and paid my dues. That's what I do, daily basis, got no time for doubt. Hoping and praying that I've made some fans in this crowd. All alone in hotel named a town I can't pronounce. Poor insomniac, no glamour here, silence can be loud. Fall asleep, wake up, where am I, some with you? Forget about the haters, block them out, that's what we do. Any time off my lyrics, write another tune. I'm forced to lie to my mum home, I'll be there soon. Live for the moment, make sense, don't it? Don't let it pass you by, be happy that you chose it. Most people never get the chance, be happy that you own it. Taking part matters, regardless if you've blown it. Live for the moment, make sense, don't it? It, don't let it slip away. Be happy that you chose it. Most people never get the chance. Be happy that you own it. Taking part matters, regardless if you've blown it. Live for the moment. Make sense, don't it? Success lies in failure. Nobody's really choked it. Life is what you make it. I'm happy that I own it. I'm happy that I heard this beat. I'm happy that I chose it. Happy that I wrote it. Happy that I carried on. I'm happy that I speak the words. I'm happy that I wrote the song. I never left or right. Tell me, how can I be wrong? Leave you time to ponder what was said. So for now, I'm gone. Thank you very much for your time and have a Shh.